So now it's time to talk about the product that BitShares offers the world. Just like the average Bitcoin user has no idea what an elliptical curve is or how cryptography works, so too those that use the bit assets of BitShares need not know how the technology behind BitShares or derivative market works. This is an educational video series, not a promotional video series, so I will be going into details. Although the BitUSD will be very simple to use, even more simple than Bitcoin, the underlying system is quite complicated. In this video, I will explain the more complicated aspects of bit assets. In the next video, I'll explain the simple but powerful result for customers to enjoy. Okay, let's begin. As we explained in the previous video, derivative contracts are assets, and on the BitShares blockchain, we call those assets bit assets. These bit assets can be transferred from one party to another, just like making a Bitcoin payment. The cool thing is, we can structure those assets to have a stable value. The result will be a cryptocurrency, just like Bitcoin, but with the stability of the underlying asset. For example, the US dollar. A bit asset like that is called BitUSD. So let's start by taking a look at the underlying derivative. A BitUSD is created when two parties enter into a contract. Bob says, I'm an investor of BitShares. I have bought and own shares in BitShares. However, I think it is such a great investment, I would like to buy more BitShares. Can anyone lend me a dollar so that I can buy $1 worth of BitShares? So that you are protected, Bob says, I will put that $1 worth of BitShares on the blockchain in escrow, and I will put two additional dollars worth of my own BitShares into that escrow, so your loan is securitized by 300% capital. For the privilege of borrowing your money, I will pay you an interest rate on your $1 until I pay it back. Will anyone enter into this contract with me? Sally hears this. Sally is not much of a risk taker. She does not care much for speculating or the future value of BitShares. She just wants to keep her savings nice and safe and hopefully get a nice little interest rate return on her money. Sally wants the peace of mind that she can get her $1 back at any time. She recognizes that BitShares is a new concept and is liable to have large fluctuations in price and is concerned about the safety of her money. Sally is comforted by the fact that the blockchain is holding 300% security for her loan. That means the price of BitShares can fall by 66% and her money is protected. And upon reading the fine print, she learned that the blockchain will check regularly what the price of BitShares is compared to the US dollar and make sure that Bob has enough security. That means that BitShares would have to fall by 66% in value in minutes or maybe hours in order for her to potentially lose money. She recognizes in Bitcoin's entire history, it has never been that volatile so as to lose more than 66% of its value in minutes or hours. And she knows Bitcoin was really volatile back in its early days. Sally decides the reward of the interest rate is worth the potential risk. She enters into a contract with Bob. Sally puts $1 worth of BitShares on the blockchain for Bob. Bob adds his $2 worth of BitShares on the blockchain to protect Sally. And a BitUSD, a derivative asset, is born. A BitUSD is a derivative contract that promises one party, in this case Sally, one US dollar in value at any future date. The contract also states that Sally will earn interest on her loan. To secure the contract, 300% collateral is held on the blockchain. Sally holds this BitUSD in her online wallet. Just like all cryptocurrencies, there are no third parties and only with Sally's private key can the BitUSD be sent to another party. Because the BitUSD is a promise to pay $1 worth of value at a future date, its value is always very close to a dollar. The result is a cryptocurrency just like Bitcoin, but with the stability of the US dollar. So let's go back to Sally and Bob and fill in some of the details. Okay, detail number one I want to mention. Just like in the gold derivatives and traditional markets, real gold is not necessary. So too, US dollars are not needed to secure these US dollar promises. So long as the value is there in some form and offered as security, the market functions. In the traditional markets, you might deposit dollars to a trusted third party as your security to enter into a gold derivative. On BitShares, you offer shares in the BitShares exchange to the trusted blockchain as your security to enter into the US dollar derivative. Okay, detail number two. What is the interest rate Bob offered to pay Sally? Well, in fact, there were many Bobs and many Sallys. The Bobs specify the interest rate that they are willing to pay to borrow. 
When Sally comes along, they of course take the highest interest rate on offer that is high enough to make them want to loan Bob the money. Now, if all of the BitUSD contracts had a slightly different interest rate, then they would not be very fungible. This is not desirable. So while all of the Bobs may pay a slightly different interest rate, the interest is pooled and all of the Sally's get the exact same interest. In this way, the interest all of the Sally's receives is the same as each other and it's a variable rate. It depends on the interest rate promised by all of the Bobs on the outstanding loans. The result? All holders of BitUSD earn that variable interest rate on each BitUSD they hold. Detail number three. How much collateralization is behind a bit asset like BitUSD? Well, BitShares is very conservative in its collateralization limits. By comparison, on most major Forex exchanges, you could trade a currency pair with only 1% security. That means Bob could promise Sally $100 worth of value by only putting up $1 of collateral. In other words, 1% of collateral is required. This is because those currencies are traditionally very stable. As long as the value of that dollar does not fall below 99, then the $1 collateral will be sufficient. Because BitShares is new, its volatility is high, it must gain the trust of the community. It chooses to demand 300% security to engage in contracts. That means that the $100 worth of value that Sally lent Bob to buy shares is combined with the $200 worth of BitShares Bob already had. This $300 worth of collateral is held on the blockchain to securitize the 100 bit USD. The bit shares remain there until Bob repays his loan plus interest and retires the bit USD that he and Sally created. Detail number four. When is Bob margin call? Again, because bit shares is new, it uses a very conservative approach. When the $300 of bit shares value falls below $200 in value, the blockchain will automatically use Bob security to go out and buy 100 of BitUSD from a Sally. Not necessarily the same Sally, and of course, for a price, there are always Sally's. If you had 100 BitUSD, would you sell it to me for $110 worth of value? Of course, you just got $10 for free. In this way, BitUSD is always collateralized by at least 200%. But of course, it could be much higher, assuming lots of different Bobs with various different levels of collateralization. Bob is charged rather large fees for this, and most Bobs choose to keep an eye on their investment and top up their collateral before a margin call ever takes place. Detail number five. How does the blockchain know the price? While blockchains are great at working all on their own in trustless ways, they're not very good at interacting with the outside world. If the blockchain needs to initiate a margin call, it must know the price of the bit share compared to US dollars. How does it know? This is where delegates come into play. As you may recall from the delegated proof of stake video, the BitShares blockchain is secured by a panel of 101 elected delegates. These delegates have two primary functions. The first is to create blocks and secure the network, very similar to Bitcoin miners. The second is to provide information on the price of bit assets to the blockchain. This is called the price feed. Delegates enter in the real world, world price of bit assets underlying commodity. The program establishes the mean to reduce the potential for a bad acting delegate to manipulate the price. Prices published by the delegates are public and any attempt to manipulate the price would result in a delegate being voted out pretty swiftly. In practice, delegates update price quite often during high volatility and less often during stable times. No guarantees can be offered as to how often the price fiend is updated, but delegates' income is on the line. Failure to produce regular price data during times of high volatility will most likely result in them being fired and their income going to someone who will be more prudent. This is the one area in which BitShares relies on trust of a human and not on mathematics. There are many mechanisms in place to provide the right incentives for good behavior and eliminate any upside for bad or tardy behavior. The net result is a system that is not quite perfectly trustless, but certainly a huge improvement on legacy or traditional systems. So I think they're the most important points for you to understand about bit assets like BitUSD. Now let's start to revise and take a look at the implication of what we have learned. BitShares is a powerful marketplace that matches buyers and sellers of financial contracts in the world's first decentralized way. This technology is just months old and already it has the promise of allowing a derivatives market that is significantly more secure and orders of magnitude less expensive than the ones we currently have on Wall Street. Five derivative products are already up and actively trading on the BitShares platform. 
BitUSD, BitCNY, BitEuro, BitGLD, and BitBTC. Traders can and are trading in and out of these derivative products on a daily basis. If confidence grows and awareness of this technology spreads, then many more derivative products will become available and the liquidity in each bit, bit asset will deepen. It just may begin to take a bigger and bigger slice of that $700 trillion derivative marketplace. Even more exciting is the fact that just like Bitcoin and the TCP IP protocol of the internet, BitShares at, it, at its heart is a relatively simple open source protocol. The real magic occurs when entrepreneurs begin to build new and useful products in and around this new paradigm. Thanks to Google, Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, and millions of other companies, the TCP IP protocol of the internet has changed our lives in profound ways. Thanks to companies like Blockchain, BitPay, and Bitfinex, the Bitcoin protocol is well on its way to changing billions of people's lives in profound ways. So too, the early adapters and entrepreneurs working on web services built on the BitShares protocol over the next 10 years will be when the true power of this amazing technology really begins to take shape. It is important to remember that in order to understand the opportunity, one cannot view this video in a vacuum, but rather should consider all the reasons why this system makes more sense in its entirety. That is why it's critically important that you take the time to watch or rewatch these videos until it makes sense to you. I really hope you enjoyed this video in the BitShares 101 series. If you want to help BitShares achieve its mission of securing life, liberty and property for all, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Share it on social media like Facebook and Twitter. And you can click on the link over here to subscribe to this channel for future updates. To watch the remainder of this video series, click on the thumbnail below me or watch the Getting Started series that will walk you through downloading your free wallet and creating your free account. See you in the next video.